Hello, and welcome to part one of my Pokemon Scarlet Little Cup Lock. Now, I have to give uh, credit to Kyo, my friend who I ran this idea back and forth with a while ago before these games were released. Um, and we ended up coming up with this idea. So let me just briefly explain the rules of a Little Cup Lock, because I'm not sure it's super common. I haven't personally ever watched one on um, YouTube or Twitch or anywhere. So this may be a unique concept. Um, basically, normal knows what rules apply, which means I can only catch one Pokemon per area, which could be quite challenging on this game. I don't know how the areas work. Um, if a Pokemon faints, it dies and cannot be revived at a Pokemon Center or using a revive. That's it. I can't use it anymore. And I must nickname all of my Pokemon. Um, so that's that's basically the normal Nuzlocke rules. Now, Little Cup lock rules. Uh, so the Little Cup, some of you might remember as being a, a sort of a... A level, for want of a better term, in Pokemon Stadium or Pokemon Stadium 2 or both. I don't remember. Um, and basically, the rules are very simple. Is that your Pokemon must be the lowest evolution in, in its evolutionary line. So, for example, um, well, our starter, whatever starter we end up with. That's legal, but I won't be able to evolve it because it will no longer be a Little Cup legal Pokemon. And evolved Pokemon is banned, basically. Also banned are any Pokemon that cannot evolve. So that's another thing to bear in mind. So basically, I'm going to be playing with little baby Pokemon all the way through and trying to win under Nuzlocke rules. There's my character on screen. We were... We, we were... We are a boy on Violet, which I'm streaming on Twitch, uh, which is... Link is in the description, and also uploading to my original channel, it basically plays games, again, link in the description. So I decided I'd be a girl character in this one, and I have the violet hair because I'm very purple biased in uh, violet, and then I thought, okay, so I'll have the scarlet hair colour in scarlet, that figures, but I've still got purple eyes because I'm very purple biased. Anyway, let's go! Enrollment is complete. So there's going to be some differences as well as I play through this. Naranja Academy. Taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater. So there's going to be different characters, there's going to be different... Places, maybe? I'm not sure what all the differences are, but uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a different game, which is fun. It's time for you to, to, to dive into the world of Pokemon. Director Clavel, I think that's the same... Yeah, that's the same dude. Paldia is a sprawling region, bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokémon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Look at him! Look at that! It's so cute! That, that would be a legal Pokémon for uh, the Nuzlocke. For the little cup lock. Pokemon can be found living all over. Okay, let's have a look at this screen very quick. Gabite, not legal. Pikachu, not legal because Pichu is a thing. But is that someone with an Eevee right near the front door? If so, I think that would be that that's definitely legal. And Hoppip would be legal. Are there any other Pokemon on the screen? Is that a Swablu? A couple of Swablu up in the air? They would be legal. But I couldn't evolve any of them. Uh, anyway, Pokemon can be found living all over in the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon. Jigglypuff, not legal because Jigglypuff is a thing. Ampharos, not legal. Rufflet, legal. And um, we coexist with Pokemon as we both help one another to live and thrive. Kind of wild, isn't it, that those two words don't rhyme? Naranja Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. So, Tauros, interesting example. Because Tauros doesn't evolve, even though it's a base level Pokemon, still illegal in a little cup lock. Little cup lock. 
and also obviously Muck is because there's Grimer. Um, and as Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon do battle growing alongside them. Whilst while our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. I say Tauros doesn't evolve. This is obviously a different version of Tauros than the one we're used to. I actually don't know if this Tauros evolves. So who knows? Could be legal. Um, it is... Oh, Rockruff. Rockruff's legal. I really hope I get a Rockruff. And we, the faculty and staff at Nirinja Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. I think I missed a line of text while I was talking about Rockruff, but worth it for the doggo. Okay, so this is the Scarlet Legendary. We've met the Violet Legendary. On the other series. It's a very pretty logo, isn't it? Are they Pokemon? I still haven't found an answer for this so far. I'm a little bit ahead in Violet. I'm like, I've already recorded it. Time of recording this, I'm four episodes deep in Violet in terms of what's been recorded. It's not on YouTube yet, but it's it's coming. It's been, it's been on Twitch. And I haven't encountered Flamingos yet. But they could be a Scarlet exclusive. They could be later in the game. Like, who knows? They could just be Flamingos and not actual Pokemon. I haven't encountered these guys yet either. They're pretty cool. So an interesting thing about doing a Nuzlocke in this game is all of your Pokemon encounters appear as overworld sprites. So, you, so we're going to be able to choose our encounters. We're only going to be able to get one encounter per area. But we're going to be able to choose what we run into. So that's going to be a, an interesting dynamic, I think, with this game. Right. So we go downstairs to begin. See if I can remember the start of the game correctly. I, I only streamed this yesterday. So let's see if I can remember what to do. We've still got a Squovert, that's not changed. Very nice. I haven't even given any thought to which starter I'm going to pick. All I know is it's not going to be the one I chose for Violet. We're going to choose one of the other two. For variety. Good morning, Ibiza! Oh, already in your uniform and everything. Well, it is your first day at your new school after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently, there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Speaking of which, I may have to rush away because um, I'm still waiting on uh, uh, Mrs. Ibeza's copy of this game. Uh, arriving, so there may be a knock at my door and I have to rush off, just so you know. Bing bong! Hello! Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for! Ibeza, get the door, would you? Oh yeah, yeah, I should move. Right, so first things first, I didn't find the door very successfully on Violet, but I remember where it is now. It's here. Oi, oi! Wait, no, I didn't get his voice right in Violet, so let's let's rectify that. Um, I say, do forgive the intrusion. You are Missy Baser, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologise for the late arrival of your enrolment documents. Ah, and also for my delay in introducing myself. I am the director of Naranja Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. The director? And you came in person to help my daughter with her first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on its part. So, here at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. I didn't inherit her blue eyes, did I? I got purple eyes. Weird genetics. Goodness, you really needn't have. Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Da. No need to worry, to trouble yourself. Ibeza, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. 
Why don't you head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag and your hat as well. Now, Mr. Clovel, you simply must join me for a cuppa. This way. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Yeah, I kind of just gave him quite a generic voice in Violet, but he's quite, he's quite posh. And I didn't go super posh, but I went quite dignified. I, I, I hope I did anyway. I tried to. I'm not sure if I can do dignified. <laughs> like, I'm not sure if that's a thing my body does. But I gave it my best. Alright, we're ready to go. Oh, just look at you. All ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our Storied Academy suits you quite well indeed. Did I change his voice already? I feel like I did. Oh gracious, how very careless of me. I had entirely, entirely forgotten that I have something else for you, Miss Abaza. A most important thing, but your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and see, shall we? Good thinking, Mom. If you hadn't have said that line, I would have had no idea where to go next on the game, so I appreciate that. Very handy. Very helpful. <laughs> right then. Dear Pokemon, time to come out of your Pokeballs. He's got six Pokemon at his waist and he was just allowed to throw out three Pokeballs. How come he's allowed to carry nine? Hmm? I'm only allowed to carry six. What's up with that? Anyway, we provide each student entering the academy with a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which among these three you'd like to have as your partner. Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. <laughs> Way Coco, the Fire Croc Pokemon. Okay. And and Quaxley, the Duckling Pokemon. Pomp. They're all very good company. Why they usually refuse to even leave my side. <laughs> well, not this time. What's this? So, it turns out they're more interested in you, Miss Abaza, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. I'll, I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Now, if you'll excuse me, until we next meet... Manly fellow, that director of yours is. So I went. I did a quick Google then while that dialogue was happening of like the first gym leader because I thought it might be interesting to know its type, but I didn't want to read too much spoilery stuff. And it seems like maybe we've got a choice, so I didn't. I didn't go any further than that basically. Anyway, these three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Why not take this opportunity to walk about with these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. It's a Rotom phone, hell yeah. It's a brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map out by pressing the Y button. It'll help keep you from getting lost, so take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now, off you go, have fun! Right, so if you're wanting to see me explore every inch of every route of this 
game, you probably want my Pokemon Violet Let's Play over on uh, Ibeza Plays Games. Because this one, with a little bit of prior knowledge of, like, you know, what I've already seen in the game. How do I get to the point where I can run? I'm sure I had the ability to run, but... Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'll know who and what can and can't be skipped. I didn't try going this way in Violet. Yeah, okay. It just just hard blocks you. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, I'll know like who's useful and who's not and stuff. So I'll be I'll be skipping through some things on um, on Scarlet because this is more about the Nuzlocke challenge than experience in the game. Which way did they go? Let me know in the comments which is your favourite of the three starters, by the way. I'm not going to do a Choose My Starter episode purely because I might want to bulk record this. Um, so having to wait for votes on starters, maybe not so much. Not, not such a great shout. Oh, okay. Hola, are you this retainer? Not... Oh, wait. Not quite. Miss Ibeza has yet to make her choice, you see. I do wonder which of them she would choose as her partner Pokemon. Or whatever, whatever he said. He said it too quick. It went off the screen. Right, so here's where I have to make my decision, and I still haven't really made it yet. Buenas, we haven't met yet, have we? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, Daddy, uh, is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our Academy's newest student, Missy Bezer. She will be attending as of today. Today. So, you're that kid who moved in up the road. I've been dying to find out more about you. I'm Nemona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What are you saying, new neighbor? Wanna be friends? Yeah, go on then. I love that enthusiasm, eh? We're gonna get along just fine. Miss Nemona is president of our student council and a champion rank trainer in her own right. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me. Easy now. You two will be in the same class, so you'll have plenty of time to battle later. And get to know one another better, of course. We're gonna be neighbors and classmates? Nice. We'll be able to battle all we want. On that note, Mr. Bezer. Make your choice. Have you decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? Right, so, spoiler alert, on Violet I picked Sprigatito, I think it's called, the cat, um, and named it after my cat. So, it's going to be between Quaxley and Fuecoco. Now, Quaxley is the people's favourite, right? Everyone loves Quaxley. But, so what happened was, because I picked um, Sprigatito, um she picked Quaxley, and poor Fuecoco got left all on his own. So I felt a bit bad for Quaycoco getting left with the professor, getting not selected. So, it's a bit of a dilemma, this. Which one do I pick? I really don't know. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to work left to right to take the decision away from me. So I've already picked uh, Kato, so now let's pick Ducko. Pom. That's Quaxley, a water-type Pokemon. It may seem quiet, but its mighty streams of water can put out any fire, you'll see. Would you like to go with our good water-type Pokemon, Quaxley, here? Yeah, come on, then. And at least she's now probably going to take Foy Coco, right? So, and the Kato can stay with the Professor. I'd like to give Quaxley a nickname. Nuzlocke rules dictate that I do. 
Now, I'm going to be careful. In Violet, I think there's a couple of Pokemon I've accidentally not nicknamed because I just pressed B one too many times there. Um, right. Quaxley's nickname. I mean, I could go really basic and go Donald. Donald Duck. I think I might just do that so I don't spend too long trying to think of a nickname. But then what will I call my young goose? <laughs> Honestly, probably not going to choose to have a young goose in my team. So, not a dilemma. There we go. Hell yeah. Quaxley seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Mr. Beza. This is your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. I'll try not to kill it. <laughs> Ibeza, I can't believe you actually chose Quaxley. I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Can I choose one of the, these Pokemon too, Director Clavel? Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Mr. Mona? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Ibeza while she raises her own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. She just can you out of an extra Pokemon, my dude. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Miss Ibeza here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! Since the base I chose Quaxley, I'll go for this little one. Nice to meet you, Foy Coco. Welcome to the team. There we go. So Foy Coco doesn't get left behind this time. Unfortunately, Kato does, but I'm sure Mr. Clavel is a great, is a cat person and will take good care of Spugatito. Alrighty then. Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you are ready. Alright. As you may have noticed, Miss Nimona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. But I do hope you'll join her for a battle, and will help you get to know your po own Pokemon as well. Hell yeah. I'm not like, passing up that easy experience, battling a fire type with my water type. Let's go! Let's do this. I know you're over here, you donkey. Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon by their side. And it's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So, you ready to battle me, Ibeza? Yes. Perfecto, I'm so excited for this battle I think I'll use. Miss... Miss Nimona. I trust you remember that Miss Ibeza is a wholly... is wholly experienced in Pokemon battling. Heh, <laughs> whoopsie, good call, Director. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. I guess I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. Come on, Ibeza, let's have a fruitful battle. I'm just like, I'll punch you. <laughs> Challenged by Pokemon trainer Nimona with a free Coco, unpredictably. Go, Donald! Hell yeah, let's go. Got better head than that other Donald. I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun, eh? Yeah, yeah, let's not take it too seriously. Water gun, Donald! Go, kill it! <laughs> you must have been studying up. Smart move. Water is strong against fire. Boom! Two shot. Sit down. Undefeated! Uh Yes, Donald, level 6. You love to see it. Wow, not bad, neighbor. Give me that money, money. Yeah, yeah. Look at you winning your first battle ever. You've got even more potential than I thought. You're gonna be a strong trainer for sure. But now I want to try a different strategy. Let's go again, just one more battle. 
Miss Ibeza and her Quaxley are surely weary already from that last battle. Oh. Ah, sorry, I kind of got caught up in all the excitement. I'm really sorry, Ibeza. Same to your Quaxley too. Let's battle again soon. Oh, definitely. We'll definitely battle more. You two seem to be becoming fast friends. Se seem to be becoming fast friends, though you've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Mr. Mona? I'm sure she can learn a great deal from a champion rank trainer such as yourself. You bet, sir. Oh, that reminds me. Since you're new to training Pokémon, there's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me get see it for a sec. Move my stuff. The Pokédex will automatically register any Pokémon you catch. It's a must-have for Pokémon trainers. It's a super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jacques, actually made it himself. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokédexes. It's quite the age we live in now. Oof. Imagine yeah, filling out a Pokédex by hand. I can't even imagine how much work that would take. Oh, ho, ho. no, I suppose you can't, you damn lazy millennials. Yet, no matter how much the times may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokémon never does. By the way, yes, I'm aware these characters are Millennials, that was kind of the joke. No one knows what Millennials are. That is a truly timeless pleasure. And the more Pokémon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. I hope you will both work hard towards the goal, toward the goal of completing your own Pokédexes. Now, Mr. Mona, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Could I depend on you to see Miss Ibeza to the Academy? You'd be doing me quite the favour. Of course, leave it to me. Then I leave her in your capable hands. Alright, little one, it's time you and I were on our way. Spur. He seems happy with this arrangement. There we go, it's Oscars. Maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokédex along with my, all my battling. Oh, alright. Speaking of Pokédex, Isabeza, you probably never caught a wild Pokémon, right? I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the Academy. Come with me. Okay. Oh, hello. Opening your Pokédex. So, yeah, we are going to follow Nimona and learn how to catch Pokémon and start the Nuzlocke. However, um... We're going to do that next episode. Uh, so leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes of this little cup lock. And uh, share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza. You've been amazing. And I will see you next time.